Ring, ring. Hello, I'm Mr. Homeowner. Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm okay. My name is Jamel. I'm a real estate investor. Um, I'm looking to buy my next investment property. Um, I saw your property online and it interests me. So I just wanted to um, take the time to um, give you a call and ask you a few questions. You can ask me a few questions. And any time during this um, conversation, if you feel as though um, I'm not a solution for you, you can just tell me no and we can move forward. Um, does that sound fair? Excellent, excellent. Man, you killed the agenda. Yeah, that sounds fair. How can I help you, Jamil? Okay, um, I, like I said, I saw the place online and I just wanted to know, um, why would you want to sell it? It looks like a very nice place. Uh, well, you know, my uh, grandma, she's uh, fallen ill. She's kind of up in years and uh, she lives over in Montana, kind of up in the middle of nowhere, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, my wife, um, she's, uh, you know, kind of, uh, kind of the nurse of the family and we're just, we, we really need to just move up there. And so we can kind of take care of family. It's, it's kind of a family thing. Okay. I understand that. I understand that. Um, yeah, I, I've had some situations in my family, you know, like that. So I can pretty much understand how that can pan out. Um, you bond, would not bond with me, man. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Don't choke on the bonding. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I have a buddy who the same thing happened to, and he ended up, you know, um, his wife ended up staying here, and he ended up going in that situation, and man, it, it got so, it got messy. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to highlight the pain a little bit, or the possibility of pain here, you know, uh, or I could have said, well, you know, I got a buddy who the similar situation happened to, and he ended up having to get two places, one here and one there. Are you guys considering that? Okay. You see okay. what I'm doing? I'm yeah. just, I'm just kind of, you know, he's showing me where it hurts. Now I'm going to poke at it for a minute and see if I can get him to squeal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Like when I was a kid, I went to get a booster shot, and Grandma took me to the store afterwards. And of course, I was, you know, I'm just a little kid. I'm a little, I'm a little wussy. And I got the band aid, and and Grandma every time she got near me would elbow that. Mm, mm. <laughs> ah. Don't forget, to, don't forget that when we're bonding, you're, you're asking, you're going to ask me another question. You're going to tell me a story about your buddy. You're going to get me, uh, you know, moving in the direction of sharing about, oh yeah, well, you know, we thought about getting another house over there, but we couldn't afford two payments and yet we need to move so bad. And, you know, you're just going to see if you can get me to squeal a little bit by poking the pain. <laughs> does, does that make sense and you don't have to be rude or aggressive about it you just by just relating with a story and then asking another question yeah so gotcha. okay so my grandma she's you know she's in montana lives up in the middle of nowhere okay and i've got to go up there and take care of her my wife is kind of the nurse of the family and we got to move and and uh you know that whole thing it's just kind of a family thing Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. I had a um, close friend that had that same um, situation where they had to uh, relocate and take care of a, a sibling. And, you know, that's just something that they had to do. Um, yeah. That was very um, challenging for them. You know, they were in a position where they would possibly have two payments and, you know, on, on, oh, on yeah, we can't do that, man. I mean, there's just no way we can do two payments. I, 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 I know. I mean, that's see, but it's what we're trying to avoid. Okay. Um, you know, because, you know, with my wife not working and then her, you know, helping out with grandma too. I, you know, so we we just need to sell, really. Oh man, I I, I can imagine that. That sounds like it could be tough if if you know if you couldn't get that burden uplifted. Now you're doing a great job, man. <laughs> you see, you relaxed a little bit in the second one. And you're relaxing a little bit and you're, you're bonding with me and you're sharing with me human to human. You're making me like you. And it's all about likability and right. And it's all about what's in it for me as the homeowner. It's, it, it's you understanding my situation, but not like in an un, unfriendly or in a salesy kind of way. You, you, you nailed it, man. You nailed it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So um, let's get back into the role play. You asked me why I told you, okay. So let's move on to the, in the qualification section here. This is question number two coming up. Okay. Go play, go. Okay. You wouldn't want to um, do business today, would you? Because I'm oh. looking to move pretty fast. 
oh yeah, man, I'd love to do something as quick as I can. Really. I mean, we need to get up there. I mean, I, I'd like to, are you looking to buy something um, this month? Oh uh, yeah, quickly, very quickly. I'm 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 looking to buy something soon. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, that suits us fine. Okay. Um, what it, what are you, what are you asking uh, for the property, and how much do you think it's worth? Uh, you know, I'm only asking 175, and I feel like it's it's worth about 195. Um, a house just up the street sold for 195, and I've got a realtor friend that works with me at my job. Um, where I'm about to leave, if I can get all this put together, then, you know, and she told me that she thought it was about 195. And so, um, you know, I feel like you know, I, I, I've got it priced about where, where I think it, it ought to be. Okay. Okay. So if I'm making, if I'm able to make you an offer that will make you feel comfortable, would you be willing to do business today? Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Sure. What do you got? I mean, what's the offer? Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm a real estate investor and I'm looking for my next investment property. And I looked at your property online pretty extensively. And honestly, as a real estate investor, I'm not going to be able to pay your asking price and still turn a profit. But what I'd like to um, offer you is um, if you can, you know, lease it for 24 to 36 months and then sell, does that feel comfortable? Um, well, okay. So I'm going to be, um, well, we would have to be landlords then for a couple of years. I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, oh, being no. so far away, I don't, I don't know how that, I don't know that that, that would be something that we could do really, but I appreciate oh, no, your no. offering. You, 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 you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to worry about um, being a landlord or anything like that. Um, what 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 I can do is I can um, draw up an offer and present it to you and also send you um, an informational um, packet that you can look over and it explains everything in the details and we can go from there. Does that sound fair? You killed it, man. You're killing it. <laughs> You're killing it, dude. And I, I promise you, I mean that. Um, I, I fully 100% was listening in like, Oh, here he goes. He's going to slip over into explainer mode. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. No, it didn't happen, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You knew what to do and you turned it right back around. You addressed the problem at hand and you went right back to the offer. Right. Yep. Right. Great job, man. Great job. Great job. I got to ring the cowbell for you on that. <laughs> excellent work excellent work jamel man do you think you can do that with a homeowner yeah yeah i know you can i know you can here's what i'd like to see you do man i'd like to see you try it once or twice or three times five times and then set an appointment with me and let's do it together me and then you me and then you okay what so do you think yeah, that sounds fair. That way, you know, you got some, you got some real world experience and you got some real world questions like, Hey, this happened. What do I do? Yeah. Okay. It's going to happen. All right. Yeah. You might get a deal during the dress rehearsal. I don't know, but the dress rehearsal is all about just breaking through the, the anxiety of getting on the phone, you know, dialing up <laughs> one, you know, one, whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Hello. Hello. Agenda qualification close. Oh, this person was a jack ass <laughs> scale of one to 10. <laughs> Remember <laughs> the fives and below hang up and the six through the 10, you want to go ahead and try to finish through the conversation and, and get to the close if you can. And some of those you'll close and some of them you won't. And that's okay. Yeah. Cool. What do you, what do you think, man? Yeah, man, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, dude. Um, so if you schedule up with me again tomorrow or the next day or whatever, I'll know what you're up to. Okay. So you just want me to um, schedule or you, you don't want me to make the calls? Yeah. If I want you to try a couple uh, okay. or a handful and then schedule with me, schedule with me and then we'll, we'll try them together. Different ones. We'll, I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll listen to me and then I'll listen to you and we'll just, we'll do it like that tag team. Yeah. I don't want to blow the ones that I do have though. Cause I ain't got a whole lot of them. 
Oh, you got 12 or 15, man. Start with the which properties. Okay. Okay. If you want to save the ones that look cherry, yeah. <laughs> the ones that you think, because yeah. it's hard to judge a book by its cover. Okay. Uh, then start with the bummers mm -hmm. because you don't have high expectation of those. Um, yeah. And so just let them, you know, let those be the practice ones. And if you want to save the ones that you think are really hot, save them. And then next time, you know, maybe I'll pitch that one. And then you can, you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Yeah. So next so, time, next time we get on the phone, you'll have had a little bit of experience, not, not a, not a tremendous amount, but a little bit of experience with sellers on the phone. And then we'll, we'll refine your craft and your skills. Okay. So, um, question, how do you, how would I keep up with the ones that I did call? Like, is there a way that you guys do it? Um, well, I keep track of my stuff on Trello, trello.com. Okay. And, uh, it's, it's just an easy drag and drop board. Trello. Yeah. Trello, T R E L L O.com. And it's a real simple, easy CRM type situation where I can track things and move things around and keep okay. notes and I can upload pictures and it's free. Okay. You'll love it. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is Motion Real Estate.